Good evening. I'm Reverend Judith, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to Circle Sanctuary's Blue Moon Magic Full Moon Circle. As you may know, a blue moon is the second of two full moons in a single month. The saying, once in a blue moon, suggests that this is a rare or unlikely event because a blue moon only happens about once every two and a half years. Full moons are typically nourishing, expansive, and a time to celebrate. This blue full moon is the most high energy phase of this year's moon cycles. And as such, it's a wonderful time to express gratitude for all that's good in your life. The energy is now bigger and brighter. And since blue moons are said to be full of luck and magic, this is the perfect time to make wishes and connect with your intuition. Because blue moons are rare, this might symbolize a special opportunity that is about to find you. But regardless of whether that happens or not, a blue moon is a full of energy you need to reignite passion and enthusiasm for your dreams and start walking towards them. May it be so. We are so grateful for the Circle Sanctuary volunteers who are with us for this broadcast tonight. And we wish you all a blessed full moon magic time. It is now my honor and pleasure to present our senior minister and high priestess, Reverend Selena Fox. Thank you, Judah. And bright blessings of the blue moon to all of you. Now, some people celebrate the blue moon on the actual night of the full moon but others, ourselves included, get to celebrate it over several nights. So a great welcome to all of you who are tuning in live tonight and a welcome to all of you who will be joining us at a later time through the miracles of cyberspace and time release programming. Let us attune and commune with blue moon, full moon, super moon. Yes, the bright moon, whether you can see it right now or not, it is something that all of us here on planet Earth have an opportunity to connect with. Bright blessings of the blue moon, super moon, full moon. And now I invite Becky to share with us some announcements. Full moon greetings. We're delighted that you're here or watching later and hope that you'll also join us for some of these upcoming Circle Sanctuary events. On Saturday, September 9th, volunteers are welcome to come to the land to help with the upkeep of our beautiful 200 acre nature preserve and 20 acre green cemetery. Please contact Circle Sanctuary to register. Circle Sanctuary's Fall Equinox Maybon Festival is on Saturday, September 23rd, and we hope that you can join us to celebrate the second harvest. Our next full moon circle is the Harvest Time Full Moon Circle. And we'll be broadcasting again on Friday night, September 29th. Please join us again then. In October, we have some more events. We're having a volunteer weekend to work on the land on Saturday and Sunday, October 14th and 15th. So please let us know if you can join us and help us out. And over the weekend of October 27th through the 29th, Circle Sanctuary will be celebrating the land's 40th anniversary at our Samhain Festival. Please join us and as always, please register on our website. We also have a lot of great podcasts each month to choose from. Almost over a thousand previous prod broadcasts and podcasts are available in our digital archives. And 
Circle Sanctuary, although we love run on love, we also need your monetary donations. So please consider supporting our community by becoming a Circle member or by making a donation on our website. Thank you. And now River will cast our circle. Hello, everyone. This is River Higginbotham. Welcome to the Blue Moon Magic Full Moon Circle. To begin with, I invite you to find a comfortable position for your body, to begin to let go of the affairs and the cares of your day. Finding a, that comfortable position, I invite you to breathe. Be aware of your breath. I invite you to take some deep breaths, settling into this moment, this time together in the circle that we are creating. Becoming calmer in your body and your mind and your spirit and grounded. Prepare yourself for this work tonight. And into this forming circle, we bring the north and the earth, our bones, the stones, our life filled world, which offers us all sustainment. We welcome the earth as rest and silence, repose and recovery. We welcome the earth as the foundation for all we are. So join me in saying, welcome north and earth. And we, now we invite the east and air into this circle. Air, the spirit of wisdom and clear communication of sharp minds, of music and laughter, and the joy of stories. We, as we welcome in air, join me in saying, welcome East and air. And now to the South and fire, the energy of life, flaming transformations, passion, will, the alchemy, of growth and emergence and imagination. For all these gifts of fire joining us in the circle, we are grateful. Join me in saying, welcome south and fire. And now the west and water. Bring in refreshing rains, but gentle. Water which softens our edges, allows and supports emotional release and forgiveness. For all the gifts of water flowing through us and supporting us, we join me in saying, welcome West and water. And to the cosmos above, all that is, great spirit, great mother, great father, the entire universe, blessed, us with your presence, bless us with your wisdom and magnificence. And now to the earth and Gaia below. This planet on which we stand, in which we are held, and all of our ancestors, you are here for us and you are in this circle. So behold, there is magic all around us. Behold, there is magic all around us. Behold, there is magic all around us. Awaken, rejoice, and sing, and pray, and celebrate, and make some blue moon magic this night, and bring some blue moon magic into your life in this circle. Our circle is cast. Thank you, River, for creating our sacred circle. My name is Richard. I like this ecologically friendly recycled beeswax candle to represent the bonfires we pagans also light to celebrate the rising of the full moon, the return of the sun, and the warmth of summer. Of the four pagan elements, 
Fire is the only one that we have to create to include in our sacred circle. That's another reason I light this candle. Up next is Judith to have us all kindle our individual candles. So mote it be. And as we go to gallery view and we all hold up our candles, we've gathered here beneath the blue, the full blue moon. So let's create a magical boon because a moon like this won't be seen again anytime soon. Blessings to one and all under this bright blue full moon. Selena now has some blue moon magic for us. Thank you, Judith. Well, what kind of magic do you do on a blue moon? Well, a blue moon being a full moon is a special opportunity to connect with the bright blessings of full moon. And I invite you to join me in calling on the full moon which is also a super moon because August 2023, at the end of this month, the moon is closer to the earth than it will be at any other time in 2023. And many groups and individual practitioners connect with the moon as a goddess. So wherever you may be, whatever your gender identity, whatever your tradition, I invite you to raise your hands up and to connect with the divine that is the full moon. And we call on the blue moon, the super moon, the full moon as moon mother. Moon Mother, come to us. Moon Mother, be with us. Moon Mother, come to us. Moon Mother, be with us. Moon Mother, come to us. Moon Mother, be with us, be in us, bless us. Great Mother, we call to you, honor you, and welcome you into this blue moon magic rite. Guide us in our times together in this rite and in the times to come. So be it. So another way of doing some blue moon magic is to wear blue, to connect with the color blue. Now, this business about a blue moon, there's a lot of folklore around this. And in ancient times, we didn't really have the blue moon as we have it now. But one of the great things about lunar lore, it's ever changing and there is more. So one of the wonderful things about contemporary celebrations of full moons is the blue moon has become increasingly an important opportunity to enhance our intentions, our attentions, our motivations to work for a healthier planet, to work healing and wellness for others, and to bring some blessings to ourselves. I'd like to share with you several ways of doing some blue, blue moon magic tonight and in the next couple days. Some people will be celebrating it on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night. And regardless of how many times you get to celebrate it, I invite you to join me in the next few moments of quiet. I invite you to envision a beautiful blue light 
within you and around you, a blue light of peace, of relaxation, of blissfulness, of well-being. We honor the blue light and spiritual insight. Blue moon light, blue light for spiritual insight. And as you become one with the blue light, let a word, a phrase, a symbol come to you. And focus on that for a few moments. And give thanks, knowing that the guidance that you receive is something that you can continue to work with, not only at full moon time, but in the times ahead. Some people like doing specific types of ritual at full moon time, and by doing them on a blue moon, which also happens to be a super moon, it is an opportunity to have an amplified working. Some people like to get some water, put it in a bowl or a chalice or a cauldron, and set it in a windowsill or outside under the blue moon. So I invite you to consider having some blue moon water as part of your repertoire of aids for spiritual growth and workings. And what to do with blue moon water? Anointing self, blessing the home, using it to connect with the divine according to your own path. So blue moon, moon water. And the full moon is a powerful time of blessing crystals, just as water can be put in the moonlight and if you don't have clear skies with bright moonlight coming, you can still get the glow no matter how thick the clouds are. And crystals often are energized by practitioners at the full moon time and to have them blessed at blue moon full moon time is fabulous. And a final way to do some blue moon magic is to take a piece of jewelry. And I happen to have a triple moon here. And to wear it during the blue moon time and to have it on an altar or some other special place as a remembrance of the blue moon magic that you are doing. Bright blue moon blessings. And now I invite Laura to share with us a blue moon story. Thank you so much, Selena, for all those good uses to this night. I'm going to get a gallon of water and I'm going to put it outside and make all that blue moon uh, water. I'm very happy to be here with you today 
sharing this story. And first of all, I want to tell you, I have permission to share the story because it's a very intimate uh, medical situation. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medic. I am just sharing some magic that happened a few years ago. My niece, who was at the time 19 years old, had some uh, cysts on her ovaries. And she had to have surgery. And it was very serious because she had four cysts. And she was 19 years old when this happened in 2008. And a few months later, actually a few years later, um, she had to go for a review and she once again had another cyst. And it was very serious and we were all very scared. And at the time I was practicing here in Chicago with the Center of the Elemental Spirit. And I asked my sister, and my niece, if we could send her healing energies. And she said, yeah, 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 absolutely. You can send healing energies. So, you know, got together with her group and put her name on the intention basket and the whole shebang. And a few months passed by. And then I remember, you know, I haven't talked to my sister or my niece. I, I don't know what's going on. And then I called my sister and I asked her, what happened? What What's going on? And she told me, well, what do you know? The cysts are gone. And I'm like, what do you mean they're gone? And she's like, yeah, yeah, they're, they're gone. They just disappeared. They just dissolved. And I keep asking, you know, I mean, this girl had had surgery before to remove cysts. And she says, well, you know, the doctor told my daughter, this is one of those things that happens once in a blue moon. And then I realized that the magical work that we had done was done on the blue moon of December of 2009. I have asked my niece the permission to share this story time and time again for two reasons. The first one is magic and love are something mysterious and magical and real intangible to the point that medical situations sometimes can be resolved. But the second reason why I'm always sharing this story on or around the blue moon is because I want to encourage you to pray, to ask, to ask the goddess for something marvelous, for something magnificent for something incredible a because you deserve it and b because the energy of the blue moon is just wonderful i should know about that for i the blue witch who was going to be ordained on Samhain of 2020 in the middle of incredible circumstances of 2020 along with some other wonderful people here present, where the very first group of ministers that were ordained online, the very first ever online ordination on the full moon of Samhain 2020, which was also a blue moon. And Charlotte and I and Reverend Jules were ordained. So magic happens always magic plus happens on a blue moon thank you all for listening and now i speaking of reverend char um they are going to delight us with their voices and the music oh did i messed up the order i think i did okay i'll be quiet and i will let judith pick up the pieces i'm sorry Yes, we had to rearrange a little bit because one of our musicians um, is in the north of Florida and is battening down the hatches in order to avoid Hurricane Aguila. So I just rearranged the schedule and don't worry about it, Laura. Next up, we have Andrew. Thank you so much. Thank you and greetings. 
And I'm going to share a short poem with you by Fiona McLeod that is found in her book, The Silence of Amor, which was published in 1902. And this poem is called The White Procession. One by one, the stars come forth, solemn eyes watching forever, the white procession move onward, orderly, where is neither height, nor depth, nor beginning, nor end. In the vast stellar space, the moon glow wanes until it grows cold, white, ineffably remote. Only upon our little dusky earth, upon our restless span of waters, the light descends in a tender warmth. Deep gladness to me, though but the creature of an hour, that I am on this little moonlit dusky earth, too cold, too white, too ineffably remote. The moon glow in these vast wastes of infinity, where one by one the constellations roam, solemn witnesses watching forever the white procession move onward, orderly, where is neither height nor depth, nor beginning nor end. And now, friends, we'll invite Shar and Steve to share a, a song with us. Thank you there, Reverend Andrew. Steve, you wanted to say something? I know that this uh, this song we're offering, I, I don't know if you um, are able to say, but I know this song is a very heartfelt offering. Um, and we're not we're not hearing you, Steve. Uh. <clears throat> we're still not hearing you. Okay, so well, let's go ahead and go on with music then. Thank you. This is a song by Nancy Griffith and uh, she passed away and this is in honor of her and also a shout out to people who might have loved ones far away who get to communicate once in a blue moon. <clears throat> I found your letter in my mailbox today You were just checking if I was okay And if I miss you, well, you know what they say Just once in a very blue moon Just once in a very blue moon Just once in a very blue moon and I feel one coming on soon no need to tell me you'd like to be friends and help me get back 
on my feet again and if i miss you well it's just now and then just once in a very blue moon just once in a very blue moon just once in a very blue moon and i feel one coming on soon there's a there's a blue moon shining when i am reminded of all we've been through just a blue moon shining does it ever shine down on you you act as if it never hurt you at all like i'm the only one who's getting up from a fall do you remember darling can't you recall just once in a very blue moon just once in a very blue moon just once in a very blue moon and i feel one coming on soon just once in a very blue moon Practical magic is daily magic. It's a family light, only lit when everyone is safe within the hearth's walls. Now we light the family light, may it ever burn so bright. A hug, a kiss, spiritual ties within your family renewed. It's brushing your teeth while washing out your mouth of gossip. It's combing your hair while accepting the beauty of the goddess flows through you. It's calling on Asphaltia, the goddess of parking to save you the best spot before you get to the grocery store or invoking caffeina with your first cup of coffee. Practical magic demands naked dancing to appease the fairies so they'll bring back what was lost. Practical magic helps you go about your day in a smoother way. Hematite beads strung on your hyperactive child's tennis shoes to help them ground. A family grounding stone to anchor everyone to your sacred space, your personal covenstead, your hearth, your home, much like Mrs. Weasley's clock, the grounding stone ties all your family to one place and is always drawing them back again. Practical, ma practical magic uses the start over dance to magically turn back time and have bad afternoons suddenly morph into glorious laughter filled evenings. Three stirs in the cauldron or skillet go diacil with the waxing moon, imbuing health, happiness, and peace and to those who eat your food. Practical magic is when you tie a bow or a string for your children or a tie for your mate and you nod in your love and strength. A charm made to carry to school to keep the bullies away. A small packet of mugwort, cinnamon, and mace to protect your car from the daily drive's potentially smashing pace. Prayer beats while you wait for a car's return on a raining night past curfew. Practical magic is a basket, bread, a charged seven-day candle, matches, salt, honey, incense, household traps, and juice. As your 25-year-old son moves out and you frequently charge the elements that outside of your hearth, may the hearth he and his chosen mate create always have love that overflows the basket of his own. They never hunger and never thirst. They, they know that the bitter and the sweet required are required in life and you cannot escape either one. Candles and matches will light their way back to their home's door and incense will help them clean the space while the traps under the floor and back, back mat will keep all the wishes, all that wishes disharmony upon them from their door. Practical magic is lighting the family light after wishing them the best of life across town and away from you because all that should be inside your walls 
are now here, and so now you pray. Now I light the family light. May it ever burn so bright. So mote it be. And now we move to Reverend Selena. Blue moon time is a powerful time for healing. And I invite you to join with me in three forms of healing. In the next few moments, I invite you to take some deep, slow breaths as I move this incense around and imagine the healing power of breath in the sacred air, cleansing away stress, distress, what you do not need to have with you, in you, around you, cleansing as healing on this blue moon, super moon, full moon night. And I invite you to call to mind some wish or request for healing or enhanced well-being for yourself. Let that take the form of a word or a phrase. And silently repeat that word or phrase, calling healing to yourself. And as you do, imagine a healing blue light flowing around you, being within you, transforming you, aiding you, and manifesting this boon of the moon. That is blue moon time. And as a third part of healing for self, I invite you to hold your hands to your heart and let the power of love, love from deep within you, love from the divine in and around you, start flowing from you into the larger world as you move your hands and let love flow into the world and those in need on this blue moon night. And we have a bard, Chris, who will play us some music as we call to mind request of those we know that are in need of healing, safety, protection, and those situations we are aware of, including those who are in the path of the hurricane that is making its way to Florida and up the east coast of the US, let us take this blue moon time and the magic of music to send our request out as the music plays.
healing blessings to those in need, blessings of safety and protection to those in need. And as we conclude our healing time together, I invite you to call the color blue to your mind once again, the blue marble that is a name for our planet and a really great podcast that Reverend Shar helps manifest every month on our podcasting network. Some of us here in this Zoom, as well as some who are tuning in, were at an event recently called the Parliament of the World's Religions. And I had this image of the blue marble that is our planet and this crystal which has literally gone around the world to parliaments since its rebirth in 1993. The parliament of the world's religions is one of the oldest of the international interfaith gatherings on planet earth. And I invite you to join with me as we send healing and wellness to planet Earth. Healing and wellness to planet Earth. Healing and wellness to planet Earth. Earth, healing and wellness to planet Earth. Healing and wellness to creatures, to plants, to ecosystems, to humans, to the waters, the air, the soil, the quest to manifest clean energy, the fire and spirit may love be a healing force in our own lives and in our work together for a healthier, more sustainable, environment here on planet earth and beyond so mote it be aho ashe amen namaste salam shalom blessed be and now i invite the gnome to share some music thank you selena so every once in a while, once in a blue moon, maybe more often than that, I share a song of mine. Some of you may have heard this. If you have, I hope you enjoy it again. If it's new to you, I hope you take it within and hear the words and the meaning that they share. I've seen the world at night lit only by the stars. The darkness holds many secrets, many fears. Out of the past, we see the present, repeating mistakes of lessons unlearned. But strike the flint I will, and build a fire on the hill, a vision of hope on this dark night. And to my friends I send out the call, stand together we shall not fall, hand in hand we'll form the circle, hand in hand we'll lend support, to the world, our friends, ourselves. Thank you, Chris. And 
as we begin to close our circle. Thank you, Lady Luna, Blue Moon. Thank you for the magic you've shared with us tonight. And we begin opening our circle by also thanking Mother Gaia, the earth beneath our feet, and the ancestors. Thank you, Mother Gaia. Thank you, ancestors. And to the cosmos, all above, all that is, the mystery of the universe, to the cosmos, thank you. And now to the west and water, realm of emotions, healing, softening, forgiveness, caring. Thank you, west and water. To the south and fire, passion, energy, transformation, font of imagination. Thank you, south and fire. Now the east and air. For our minds, clear thoughts, kind words, the capacity to listen, the capacity to sing and know joy in stories. Thank you, east and air. And to the north and earth, the stones beneath our feet, the bones, the sustenance of this entire planet that we enjoy and our health to the north and earth. Thank you. Blessings of the blue moon. May they flow with you. Our circle is open. Thank you, River. And thanks to all of you who have joined us tonight and i invite all of us here to raise our candles and all of you tuning in live and later whether you physically have a candle or not to experience you being part of this circle of light on blue moon night and may we take a bit of this circle into ourselves, into our lives, and into this world. The circle is within us. The circle is around us. Thank you all for being part of Blue Moon Magic. So be it. Thank you now for joining I us. Judith to be able to join us and some more information. Thank you, Selena. Thank you all for joining us for this Blue Moon Magic Full Moon Circle broadcast, which has been brought to you by Circle Sanctuary's wonderful volunteers. Volunteers are a vital force in keeping Circle running. But we also need your donations for the upkeep of the Circle Sanctuary land and its buildings, as well as our green cemetery. We want to keep the lights on, the doors open, and a roof over our temple room and resource shop. You can also become a member at whatever giving level is most comfortable for you in support of Circle's in-person and virtual festivals and rituals, and our informal or informational website. We also have a wide variety of weekly Circle Sanctuary Network podcasts and previous broadcasts av available online for you. For more information, please visit our website, circlesanctuary.org, and join us by becoming a member or by making a donation today. And join us again next month on Friday night, September 29th, for our Harvest Time Full Moon Circle. Thank you for your support bright blue moon blessings to you all. Thank you.